Deborah Davis. Tonight, court papers are giving us a new look at a Highland Park school board member under fire. He is accused of stealing money meant to help students. And tonight, we have a closer look at the FBI's case against Davis. And it involves allegations of spending sprees. Seven Action News reporter Michael Rosenfield dug up the court documents that lay out the case. Court documents just made public shed new light on the U.S. government's case against Highland Park School Board member Robert Davis. He's already been indicted for allegedly embezzling tens of thousands of dollars from the school system. And these court filings tell much of the story. The FBI, which tracked Davis for months, says evidence shows he used the money on spending sprees at stores like Bed Bath & Beyond, Ferragamo, Gymboree, Foot Locker, and Gap Kids. About $84,000 in debit card purchases at several shops and about another $86,000 in cash withdrawals. All of the money, according to the FBI, coming from an account called Citizens United to Save Highland Park, which was registered at Davis's Highland Park home. School officials told investigators they were suspicious of Davis and questionable receipts and that they never heard of Citizens United, which now appears to have been a phony nonprofit set up for Davis's own personal wealth. Davis had told school district officials the money was being spent on radio advertising using a company called Zenoco, the address for which is this upscale home in Ray Township in rural Macomb County. When we showed up today, the homeowner told me his sons went before a grand jury because of their ties to Davis. There's no evidence that radio ads were ever done for the district, and it appears Davis used Zenoco as a way to funnel money from Highland Park schools to himself. Robert Davis could spend up to 10 years in prison if convicted. Reached by cell phone today, he said he couldn't talk about the case. I'm Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. Again, as Mike alluded to there, 7 Action News did try to get a comment from Robert Davis. He referred us to his attorney. We are waiting for that lawyer to return our phone call.